in this video let's solve the lead code problem number 20 valid parenthesis given a string s containing just the characters uh, these six characters totally there are three open brackets and three open closed brackets determine if the input string is valid an input string is valid if open bracket must be closed by the same type of brackets second condition is open bracket must be closed in the correct order if you look at the example number one there are two characters one open bracket one closed bracket both are opened and closed correctly so we need to return true in the second example this bracket is open this is closed this up to this it is valid this bracket is open and closed and this up to this also valid and after this this bracket is open and this also closed so all these are valid so we need to return true in this example open bracket is this one the closed bracket is different so we need to return false let's look at the other example as well in this one there are open bracket the next one is also open bracket the closed bracket is this one but the previous closed bracket is different so this is not closed properly so we need to return false let's solve this in java and then c -sir. to solve this we can use either stock or queue i'm going to use stock the first condition if um, the total length of the string is not even then definitely it is invalid so i am going to check that condition first if s yes dot length percentage to not equal to zero then return false Next, I am going to declare stock. Stock of. We are going to store the character stock equal to new stock. Here we need to loop through the given string. To loop through that, I am going to use the for loop for char c s yes, dot to care array inside the for loop so we need to check the conditions so first i'm going to check what character we are getting if we are getting the closed brackets we need to check whether the latest uh, uh, stock value we put it in should be the same type of open bracket in that case We'll remove that from the stock. Let me take this one example. So when we loop through this, when I found a open bracket, I put it in the queue. And uh, let's say that this, uh, this, this also will put it in the queue. This also will put it in the queue. But when we see this uh, closed bracket, we will see whether the previous bracket is uh, closed the open bracket of the same type if that is the case let's remove this remove this from the queue then this will go away the next we'll put it in the queue this one the next one we check we receive this one so we'll compare this value with the previous one uh, the similar type of open bracket then we'll remove this from the queue then next is this this will be added to the queue so we'll have this in the queue uh, the next for loop will go and will get this value the previous value is in the stock is this one so we need to remove this from the queue finally if the stock size is zero then it is valid if there are any numbers any number of character available in the stock then it will be invalid uh, that is the approach we are going to do here i'm going to check if uh, stock dot uh, let's check the value first c equal to equal to let's take the first example this one this open bracket if this is the um okay we need to check this one 
closed bracket if it is closed and uh, the stock dot peak the latest value in the stock equal to equal to similar type of open bracket in that case we will remove the character from the stock peak dot sorry stock dot pop the else part stock dot um, push push the current character so far we checked only one project we load the, uh, the other two projects let's check this whether this returns expected value we need to return a stock dot size equal to equal to zero then return true else return false let's run this for this input uh, the values there is there we are getting the expected value um, let's use this so we need to add the condition for other two brackets as well if let's add one more bracket and then there are if this is the case we are dropping uh, out this one or let's copy the same result or another one then closed here we need to use the other type of brackets which is uh, this one and this should be sorry here it should be closed here it should be open here I have a square bracket here it should be closed in all these three conditions we are going to pop let's now run the code this accepted let's submit the code Last executor value is this one. It is we are getting invalid. Okay, okay. So I think we need to add one more condition before we call this peak method. We should check whether stock contains values. Let's add that stock dot size greater than zero and this condition. So we should put this in all this. We ordered for all. Let's also test by using this. It is accepted. Let's submit again. It is successful. Runtime took just one millisecond, which is faster than 98.98 percentage. This is how we can solve it in Java. Let's also solve the same thing in C sharp. I'm going to copy the same code, change the languages C sharp. Let's make the change. The length is going to be L caps, it is property. So put this and the stock. This is going to be care stock. Just character and this is uh, we can use for each care C N just S itself we don't have to convert this into um, array 
we'll get C and then I think that's it the size is uh, I can check which is actually count this also count this also count greater than zero and here uh, ECP caps copy all the method ECP caps here it is going to be star dot count let's run the code Stock that does not contain the separate count token. Spell mistake. Let's run the code again. It is accepted. Let's submit. This is also successful. It took 72 milliseconds, which is faster than 83.91%. This is how we can solve this uh, problem. Um, in the next video, we will solve the different lead code problem. Thanks for watching.